when the sun is blazing you have a nice side awning over there but wouldn't it be nice to have an awning out the back here when the back doors are open well that's what i'm going to try to do next This C rail on top, and then have a canopy coming out here. Gonna be great. So these doors, are pretty tall. And put a canopy across that space over there, so when they're open and we're out camping or at the beach. We'll have a nice little awning over the back here, just to make it a little bit shadier inside there. Right, so you need to make this C rail fit the shape of the top of the roof. That's the profile of the awning, it's a C shape, and then the, or a K door. The K door strip slides in here, and that's how the awning attaches to the van. Just take off the edges here, so there's no sharp burrs that will rip the fabric. Alright, so this is 92 centimeters long, so roughly around about 46 is where I need to have the center. And because it needs to shape, take the shape of the roof, I need to bend it from the middle and push the edges down. So I'm going to position that in the middle slowly give it some shape. Alright, so I've got a nice even curve through the awning rail now and hopefully it's going to be about right for the roof before I bond it on. So that's looking pretty good now. It's uh, virtually level the whole way across. Just the ends there need a little bit of tightening up. But pretty happy. You can see that little gap over there. And basically, I just need to shorten this awning rail about an inch on each side, get it to be flush. I need to cut that little end off. I don't think I'm going to be able to shape this C rail enough. So, just about an inch off should do it. Well, the awning rail is fitting beautifully now. See this rubber grommet on top here, not quite sure what that is, but it's not in use. Apparently, some of these high tops had a third brake light fitted up here, so this must be a hole that goes through to the inside. I'm going to put a riv nut in there and then attach this securely to the roof so it can't rip off. Just removing the sealant on the inside of this hole. This is from the factory. And then I'm going to put a rev nut in there. I've got a couple of different size rev nuts here, which I'm going to see which one of these rev nuts will fit best in the roof. And then obviously use a lot of Seekerflex 221 strong sealant, adhesive sealant. And the winner is the M6. So that's perfect. Make sure that this is sealed nice and tight. So now we're going to drill a six mil hole. Got the rivnut mounted on the rivnut gun. 
there he is, you put that in the hole, squeeze the handle nice and tight, and it squishes this side over here behind the back of the substrate. But first, let's clean the roof. Clean the roof with some panel wipe. Well, there's the hole that I drilled. There's the rivet nut, which will go into the hole, and then that will get attached to the top. And then Seekerfax 221 the whole way along the top. And then this strap will go over the top of this, give it some tension, and hopefully the weather will stay good. And this will dry, just like it did over there on the side which worked perfectly. What I'm going to do is put some Seekerflex around this hole in, in the cavity just enough to seal it. And there we go, Revenite is in place, nicely sealed, now to put the Seekerflex on the underside of the awning rail. Underside of the awning rail, ready to be adhered to the top of the high top. Run up the hole like that to get some pressure in there. Water can get in anywhere, so I don't want that to happen. It's going to give it enough tension. So that is screwed down now. You can see the seeker fax underneath there, the whole length. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this strap over the top of the rail and apply some pressure and leave that for a couple of days. Now hopefully the weather is not too unfavorable. So the strap is now under tension and it goes up and over. So the strap comes up onto the roof and then over the top down the other side. And you can see that it's got that awning rail and a nice even tension. The center is screwed down, so that's under tension. And then these blocks are giving just enough tension for the seeker flex to set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run a bead inside there to fill up those gaps. You can see the extra bead of sealant that I've put in there now, running the length of the awning rail. Now I'm just gonna use a little bit of water and my finger to smooth that all off along there. And there we go, mocked up. Slight change of direction with the flap coming down the back. So that's all being pinned up. And then we'll go down the side over there. Offer a nice little bit of shade. So now for my friendly seamstress. Finish that off for me. Be brilliant. There we have the
the sun canopy draped over the back doors and attached by a clay door strip over there. Now we'll neaten this all up so it fits nice and snug and we will have a lovely little sun rain shelter at the back of the van. Perfect. And there you have it. Sunshade in action. And that's the view out the back of the van now with the sunshade in place. Happy days.